Hey guys, how's it going? It's Rob Sutton. We're back here with another review today. As you guys know, I love large screens, whether it's the previous dual 27 inch monitor setup I had in my home office or the current 48 inch C1 LG OLED that I'm using in my office now, I really love big screen real estate. It makes my workflow a lot easier as I'm normally having to use multiple windows at a time to be productive. Now this has caused a serious problem with me on the road where I'm having to work off of a single laptop screen. So when Mobile Pixels got in touch with me and said, hey, do you wanna review our Mobile Pixel Duo X Lite? I jumped on the chance to see if it would actually help me out on the road. So let's take a look. So before we get into this review today, let's take a minute to thank our sponsor for today's video. So the sponsor of today's video is Mont & Bau. If there's one thing I've noticed while I've been out on the road in business meetings is that jeans are becoming a workplace norm for business casuals. So what you need are a high quality set of jeans that you can wear both in the workplace and going out on dates with your wife. So Mont & Bau actually sent over two pairs of jeans for me to try out and they have been incredibly comfortable and really high quality. And two of the things I love about this brand the most are one, if you get on their website, you can see exactly what kind of fit and comfort level you will be getting from each of their models. And two, if you're unsure about your sizing, they'll send you both sizes with a return label to return whichever size doesn't fit. So Mott & Bau offers really high quality jeans at a reasonable price that are really comfortable to wear and look great at the same time. So thank you to Mott & Bau for offering you guys a discount code that you can find down in the description below. It is RS Tech. And now let's get back to the video. So before we get into what I think about this Duex Lite, which is a portable second monitor for your laptop, let's get into the specs. The Mobile Pixels Duex Lite is a 12.5 FHD 1080p IPS display that is 10.8 inches long by 6.1 inches wide with a viewing area of a 16.9 aspect ratio. It comes in two colors, cool white or deep gray. It's lightweight and portable, made of durable PC ABS plastic that weighs 1.3 pounds with a 0.39 inch profile. It has a hybrid signal input with quick connectivity to any laptop using a USB-C or USB-A port and no additional power supply needed. The current price as of today in January 20. 2022 is $251.99, which is 30% off of their stated MSRP. So this install of the Duex Lite is very upfront and simple. They provide you with a template that puts four magnets on the back of your laptop screen. This is where the Duex will actually attach to the screen itself. Once you put those magnets on with the template, you basically just slap the monitor on. It then slides out the side and the back base of it slides out some so that you can actually start angling the monitor for a more immersive experience. You can then go into your menu on your computer and set it up whether it be a right or left hand configuration and make it so it's either landscape or portrait. You have a lot of options there. It's easy to set up right in your settings and you're off and running right away. There are two buttons on the back of the monitor itself that you use to control the brightness, contrast, color, and other options for the display itself. They're easy to use. It's pretty much the same as any other monitor system that you've been used to using in the past. So let's go ahead and get into what I really liked about this screen itself. And of course, the first thing that I'm going to say is that it is great for multitasking, which is exactly what I needed this monitor for. When I'm on the road and in a hotel or in a remote office, I have to deal with a lot of spreadsheets, emails, and other things that I like to have multiple windows open at once. And with a laptop, that is very hard to do. You end up doing a lot of screen switching or window switching within that single monitor. So now with the secondary monitor off to the side, I'm able to keep a spreadsheet open with another spreadsheet if I'm having to go back and forth between two, or have your email on one screen and a spreadsheet on the other while you're working. Or if you're wanting to work with photos or video, you're able to use it as a secondary monitor for reference, it just has a lot of multitask uses like you would normally use with a dual monitor setup at home. The 12.5 inch screen is a nice size for most laptop setups. It seems to be big enough. 1080p is a plenty enough resolution for a monitor at this size, so you don't see a lot of pixelating or anything else. The color accuracy and sharpness of the screen seem to match just about any laptop I put it on, whether it be my MacBook Pro or this Microsoft Surface laptop you see here. Even when I'm working on tasks that aren't heavy multitasking sessions, it is nice to still have Slack or your email 
email on the secondary monitor as you need it. I almost always have Microsoft Teams and email over on the secondary monitor while I'm working on my productive tasks on the main monitor. You really forget how productive you get with a multi-monitor setup until you're back in one, and it has made my life on the road much easier so far. This setup also has an additional feature that I didn't really realize how much I would use until I got customer facing, and then it goes into presenter mode. You can actually flip this monitor all the way around to the back, screen mirror what you're looking at, and you no longer have to go, hey, hey, come over here and see my screen. You could be sitting in front of someone, they could see exactly what you're working on as you work on it while you're sitting across from each other at a desk or a table. That ends up being a lot more productive and a lot more comfortable in a work environment, especially with everything we got going on now where everyone wants to stay six feet apart. It makes it so it's a lot easier to see stuff on the same screen in an area where you might not have a projector or something else that you can actually share that content with with people in the room. The other thing that I liked about this Duex Lite is that it is lightweight and easily portable. I was really worried that if I put something on this screen that it would make it so my laptop was a lot harder to carry around or a lot more cumbersome to pack and take with me. Luckily that 0.39 inch profile makes it very easy for this to be put on the back of the laptop. It's also very light. So the hinge of the laptop did not see a lot of flex or want to fall backwards and that was something I was also very worried about. Both the MacBook Pro and this Microsoft Surface laptop did not have an issue holding this screen up while in use. Now I'm not gonna lie, there are some times when you are very aggressively typing, you know, that really angry email that you wanted to send out that you'll delete later, that the screen would bobble back and forth a little bit. That's to be expected though with something hanging this far off the screen, but it wasn't anything noticeable enough to really cause an issue. As long as you're in normal use cases, it stays put and the monitor does not move the screen back and forth on the hinge. The other thing I liked is how easy it was to set up and use the menus. Once you set up the menus for the laptop that you're on, it really is set and forget. So every time that you pull it out, there's nothing else to adjust. It's just ready to go and it's matching the monitor that you are using on your laptop itself. So what did I not like about the Mobile Pixel's Duex Lite? There were a couple things that were a little bit of annoyance because like every product, not everything is perfect. So first, the lightweight construction. This I believe was a compromise on the Mobile Pixel's part to get the weight they wanted on this unit. They had to use materials that were extremely lightweight so that they can actually put the screen in and it didn't overwhelm the laptop and it was easy to be portable and move around. Unfortunately, that gets rid of some of that premium feel that you might get out of another monitor stand that's not meant to be attached to the laptop itself. So the plastic feels kind of cheap, um, especially with the white version. It doesn't look as nice as I think the dark gray would. But overall, I think that was an overall compromise I'm willing to deal with because of how portable it ends up being. So the second one, you have to deal with these magnets on the back of the screen all of the time, even when you're not using the monitor itself. Now, not only does that trigger a little bit of my OCD where I don't like to have anything on those flat surfaces, but it also tends to have the question come up all of the time, hey, what are those for? when you pull out your laptop and the screen's not attached, when you're, whether you're in a meeting or just somewhere out in public. Now that's not that really big of a deal, but it is something that you have to deal with with this setup. Now let's say you're a coder, a web developer, or someone that looks at legal documents a lot of the time. This does have the ability to sit next to your laptop in portrait mode using the case as a stand itself. I would actually like to see a built-in stand that actually functions for landscape mode as well if they could pull that off in this monitor. That said, they do offer a stand on their website that you can buy that will allow it to do landscape on your desk next to your laptop. I just didn't want something else I had to pack or deal with while out on the road. So I am using it attached to the monitor itself anytime I am in landscape mode. So what are my overall thoughts on the Duex Lite from Mobile Pixels? Honestly, it has increased my productivity on the road by at least two or four times. I really forget on the road how annoying it is to work off of a laptop screen itself when you need to do anything that involves multitasking. Even when I'm not doing multitasking tasks, it is nice to have my email, Slack, or Teams on the secondary screen readily available if I need to use them without having to switch windows on the main screen if I have to answer those emails, chats, or answer a call. So what it has really done is increase my productivity on the road in a way that I really needed it that mirrors what I have similarly at home. So if you need to be able to have multiple screens on the road, but you want it to be very portable and easy to use, this is a great option for you that will mimic that same experience that you use on multiple monitor setups. So if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please hit up my comments section below and I'll try to answer those as they come in. As always, thank you for watching this video. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you wanna see more reviews like this in the future. And until then, on to the next one.